just caddies are kind of an old school idea, but I think they're one that might support our modern high-tech office place. I made this one to suit my needs. It's got a charging station for my phone, which is linked to this Bluetooth speaker, so all of my coworkers get to share in my Kenny G collection. I got a place for my cheaters. I've got a nice place for my groovy pen right here, and a spot for my vending machine money. So my day is complete. Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and I made this caddy from a solid piece of mahogany lumber. I made it on a CNC router, making use of these specialty CNC router bits from Freud, and they made the task super easy. And speaking of easy, you can get all the files to run your CNC to make this caddy, as well as step-by-step -step instructions, and you'll find the link for those free files in the description below. But enough talking, why don't we show you how to make this thing. I've got some tips that'll make it even easier. Cut your blank to the exact size shown in the instructions. I chose to apply a renewable beeswax and oil finish before the cutting starts. It makes sanding and finishing after you're done easier. Then find the center of the blank. The first machining is done on the back of the caddy, starting with an eighth inch straight bit. Center it on the blank and zero out your X, Y, and Z coordinates. Then start the router and watch it go. Next up, a quarter inch straight bit and a new cutting program. This bit will be your workhorse of the project. Here, it machines a groove to accommodate the cell phone charging cord. When that's done, it's time to turn the blank over, unclamp it, and flip it over left to right, and then reclamp it in place. Change to the next program. If you've done everything right, your X, Y, Z coordinates should be good to go. This next bunch of cuts will take the majority of the material out of the various compartments on the top of the caddy. It will take about 20 minutes to run, so I suggest you have a cup of coffee or two ready. And while it's tempting to do so, I never leave a CNC running in my shop all by itself. There's one quick cut with a ball end bit, and then you're ready to switch over to the 60 degree cutter. This will carve the chamfers on the edges of the caddy in several compartments. With this machining done, you're just about ready to button this project up. The only thing left that's left to do is to grab some eighth inch material and then we'll cut the lid for the money compartment and the backrest for the cell phone. Let's get that going. Secure a backer board and hold the material in place with some clamps. Then fire up the machine for your last two cuts. So that's all there is to it. Some router bits from Freud, a CNC router, a couple of free files downloaded, and you've routed out a useful project. Now, a little bit of sanding, glue in the backrest for the cell phone, and you've got yourself a groovy desk caddy. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.